So if, if Cat Control gets taken, this is a crunch on the A side. So important that they try to hold here. Ida's balance will look for a kill to complement Sum Dai Young. Sum Dai Young gonna go ahead and get two for himself. Does a ton of damage on the remaining players, but Site Control has been lost. The smoke is down. Chopper gets one through the smoke, and this might activate their presence to come through it. Bomb gets planted for a long plat, but no, oh, no, it's actually a, a P250. So he can kind of play at range from here. A little bit better than a Glock. Sergey. How quickly will he take this duel? That is the question. The pre-fires come out, but uh, it's X7 from long to assist. Nice and early. And Sotvik in the 1v2 looking for any opportunity. Pop dodges that flash nimbly. Will he go through the smoke? Flashes come out perfectly, and he can't get the kill on either of the M4s. Chopper Halfline is able to support his teammate in time. 3v5 and pick control looks to be uh, encroached upon, but Sum Dayong holds his own. The cat four. Sergey dealing with the window. He's got kind of a crossfire. The spam through the smoke maybe should be a second priority, but they're both doing damage, making it impossible for Enz to get across safely. They do have site control, but it's a 2v4. The op is sitting in T-spawn, so he's got to make his way over. He can cut off any tunnel's presence, and it's on the CTs to decide if they want to peek early. Opportunity here for Ariel to capitalize. A 2v3, much more winnable. Flashes come down, and they're moving into the site before the bomb has decided to get planted. Eventually, Ariel falls, and the op shots will now ring off. Alu. Ah, has to be so careful, not much to work with. Looks for the shot over top of the double stack. Can't hit the op shot though. Flashes to try to take mid to B control potentially. They've moved up without clearing the door out. No Molotov for the close positions. Chopper gets a kill with his AUG. They do move up on Cat, but Cat presence is, is kind of understood that it will be taken. Long is going to be taken simultaneously, however, and now Ents are suddenly in position. They have to aggressively fight to get here. Um, but they've also attracted the attention of all these CT. I just, I just balance amazing op shot. Dropping the hammer on Alexi B and Sum Dai Young also joining in the fray. Sergey, point of damage and Coldy's off the corner of the smoke. Will he be able to get this duel? It looks like he's behind the smoke. He's gonna get the flash thrown to him. Ariel is blind. He's gonna get the first onto Alexi B. He's traded by Alu and now it's all on Sum Dai Young. Oh, one, by, one, one for one, will it be enough? Sum Dai Young, can he do more? He's got one extra kill. It's 2v3, they've got a retake. It's gonna be a tough one and now it's just Coldy with the least mobile gun in the game. He's got the AWP and he's nowhere near for the retake. No, he's gonna save it. He might, he might try and punish whoever is looking for him. I don't know if he's gonna be ready for Sergey here. We're gonna see quite soon. Oh, he took his time. <laughs> Maybe, and now he's gonna have two more threats coming his way, and the first one is gonna be too much. Ariel, the doorman, is now coming out of long doors to get that first frag. Sergey from behind. Not long. So what you do is you use a lot of resources just to make sure that this area of the map from the A side, and then, as you said, device of whoever is opening there yeah. then can punish whoever's looking for you. Second line of defense, yeah. so. Uh, opening kill to Alu, second kill to Ariel. No trade in sight for Team Spirit as Ents move swiftly forward with this round. A mid to B that looks a lot more promising than it did the last time around. They've eliminated their threats before they've even left the door. Sotfik over top of the smoke is not going to be able to have impact. Once again, is the, the third player to kind of try to be, or the third player to be close to the action, but no, in no position to actually deal with it. And also get to have, have an op here on A. Oh, the op is just going to push into a terrible spot. Look at those Molotovs. Insane coverage on those. But Sotfik has moved in defense. That means, sorry, Goose. And he goes ahead and gets three. Mowed down with the 25 bullet gun. The silenced M4. And can he make it a fourth? He does. Clean shooting from him. Pristine shots from the corner. And, uh, and, and from a totally unknown position to Enz. They had no idea to even clear him. They thought they had won that round. Yeah, well, we and that will always be the case. Still could have pre-fired it if he was good enough. Good flash from Alexi, and it seems like that's not the first time we've seen that Alu dies, and then Alexi makes a play to try to make up ground. But now we're seeing a situation where he dies as well, and they have nothing to show for it. Flash goes out once again. Ever of success taking catwalk, um, maybe three towards the side of the map. We talked about two, one, two. But what about two, three? Chopper and Co. Are, are here and ready to go. They've got a smoke to help them while they toss their nades in. And all of the... One who is middle was, was very close to the window. He baited by it. He thought it was going to be a B-split. It's going to be I disbalance being tested. He's flashed. He cannot find the first one. Some Dayong is here to help him. This is 3v4. Still in a good position here. Oh, Alu is going to jump to CT base. Gets caught by Sotvik. <laughs> leaving Sergey and X7 with only the Eagles and P250s and a dream. Might not be enough. Might not be enough. They do want to get a kill early if they can. And X7 does go, go ahead and get his. Can't blame him for jump. So they know there's not going to be any kind of fake. Initial kill comes out from X7. And he's locked into position here. He's got to wait for his teammates to help him while he reloads. And the 
Pistol shots go off. Some Dayong gets a Glock kill for himself. 2v3 in this situation, but the fast... And Ants have so much information. So how's this going to play out? Single box smoke comes out. Aerial. Will he be the first and last line of defense? Initial kill. Sprays a lot of his bullets. Empties the mag. X7 gets an MP9 kill. It's three frags on the board for Ents. There's one left. And that's Sotvik. And it is a left. Their info. Deco here. As Ariel, once again, the first line of defense. Actually, just Alexi through the smoke. Why not? He's got that angle lined up. Um, right, just a feels good moment, right? It's all the clocks <laughs> and the eagles coming your way. You have a stare out, just shooting through the smoke. Stays alive. Still a 4v4. Ariel is going to drop the kills. He gets onto Chopper. Softik is Oof, good for the trade. the trade. That's a 3 versus 3. Some information taken. Ends node and all this short. That means a lot generally. But they have given down. <laughs> And all these uh, nice sentences that you guys like to <laughs> say. <laughs> um, yes. No they, seriousness. That 2v3 doesn't look good. No. You might even consider saving if you're in Nancy's shoes right now. But this is one of the retakes. It, it feels like they're actually thinking about going for it. Oh, he's so nice with it. You'd, you'd see, like, you know, you could miss a shot from there. They could peek up on any part of the cat. I mean, the whole staircase very wide. And somebody else super clean on that shot. So, well played. Wally would be flashed. And, and probably for good reason. Oh, wow. That is a tight angle. Probably not a good place to line up a smoke now that you see that. But they they made an effort to make sure no one would be at the door. So yep. you know, we're, we're hoping to clear that out. So try to run through the motions. Chopper goes ahead, sprays down Alexi B. That really cracks the A site wide open. He is going to be somewhat worried about it not, but he knows, he knows that Alu was last spotted at mid. So those are all rotators. A blob of CTs here in the middle, pushing through the doors. Kind of probably a little bit scared and about to get flanked by some die young. Will he get these kills? We've got to keep tabs on him. He's right behind two players at the moment. He goes ahead and sprays down two headshots of plenty, but he gets traded out. X7 eventually will take him down and goes ahead and makes it two. They've also got a man at long, though. That option is now quelled. Yeah, that is round done. X7 with eight HP he doesn't really have much choice. He's going to save his weapon, maybe. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure there was an up. Yeah, there was. Probably waiting for some action to go down. Ariel spots when a car hits that fantastic spray right through it and now knows there's another player on the ramp. The long player, however, the op is still up. And so he can't mess with this angle without being too careless. Idis Balance has this locked off, but there are three CTs still encroaching, two up on Catwalk. And Coldy finally activates his Lurk, but it's a bit too late. And now it's just Ida's balance. Bomb is planted in his direction, but he misses the first shot, loses a ton of ground. Clock ticks down. Will they be able to go for the... They've got Coldy uh, coming in from in the, the late long flank. This time, will he have the better timing? It seems like he might. No, he doesn't. Ariel gets that kill too. 3v4 now. Ents uh, are in the power position. There was... They seem like so many opportunities for, for Spirit to get back into that. They're going to be crossing. It's understood that they're coming up all at long together. They'll try to put the bomb down, and I just balance goes ahead and gets a kill. Alu's angle was a bit too shallow, and his body was spotted before he could see. I just balance is Lexi gets one kill and gets some jumping AUG damage. Why not? Scope in for that little bit more <laughs> accuracy, and some Dayung is certainly frustrated. And he also will end up dying. 1v3, and Sotvik gets killed. It'll be. Right, so the group up explode could be the biggest threat, and it seems like that's on the menu for Team Spirit as they creep their way out mid. Alexi B is probably going to call this smoke, and it's not a good one. That's the biggest problem. He can sit on this angle and abuse what was given to him. And yeah. now, what are Ents going to be, or what is Spirit going to be able to do differently? We'll soon find out. Ariel dodges the flash as his teammate is there to make sure he can play anti flash, and then comes in with the late spray nade as well to chip in with some damage. But the, the T's have made their way out. The problem is they've left with nothing. Yeah. So I don't know if you remember. Once upon a time, I was talking. Uh, tactically speaking, they just got they got beat that round. Oh yikes! And yeah, we're talking helping with these support nades, and that spam is looking delicious right now. And it's two frags for him. It might be. It might definitely be enough here. There's still still three of these pistols moving into the side. And Sergey, oh my God, crouches under the crosshair of Coldy after getting dinked and takes the face off of Coldy. And then that was uh, it's just so illustrious for you. And all they're just being smart, I guess, about where his kills come from. He's gonna push up to some Dayan. Some Dayan resists the assault of Sergey. He's gonna take down Alu as well. That's a triple elimination for him. He's gonna take that B side and probably the round. What on earth? Some Dayan with a heroic. It, it is a matter of timing. You get flashed, you either shoot straight or not. Yeah. All right. The dynamic duo, X7 and Sergey. Can they close this out? 5v4. All the nades coming in. He's going to call for the rotates. He is a little bit blind. Sergey from the top ropes. Get him to win. It's actually a pretty strong position for Spirit to be in at the moment. 
They and might consider saving, actually. Yeah, it seems like they they might actually do it. Uh, Ariel's here poking around like, man, I just ran that whole marathon, now we're going to turn around. They faked it. They faked that they were going to save. They're oh, going to play the wow. late retake. Oh, that's a shot that you don't normally see Ida's balance miss, but it won't really matter for him. Uh, they've got the T's locked into position in the tunnel, which is big. Man, if they kill all of these guys, that's some retribution. I, I honestly feel like they'll be happy. That, that would happen. That was a... Some pretty good stuff. Um, so, I mean, it's I mean, it's also it's a very serious situation. It's already four v three for spirits. Uh, Alu smoking and pushing. This is classic dust or old dust two. This is like some JW dust two right now. S smoking long and pushing through it with an AWP. Um, they know it's not long. That is pretty JW, right? Uh, Sergey, you Sergei probably want to pick a spot, a risk, right? right? Yeah, <laughs> because of the information that Alu has had, it, they are either. Catwall or B? These are the two possibilities, and Sergey now is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here's the first flash. They're going to, he's going to take the duel onto ID's balance, eliminates him. That's only one. Someday on is good for the retreat. But Alexi is behind. He gets the double frag. That's a 2v1 bomb on the side. Oh my god, Someday Young. 27 health, 1v2, and it could be round over. He's made plays in the past. This will be a last opportunity, and it couldn't come at a more opportune moment. The Molotov will push back his first opponent in the tunnel, and that Molotov will get traded with his. Bomb gets planted. 1v2 is on officially. He's at big box. He knows that there's probably one at the door. There, He'll have confirmation with that utility. But again, he's still low on HP. This is the main problem for him. He's got to get a clean headshot to kick things off. If he can get big box control, we might be talking about a real clutch situation. Alexi B is his first target, but Alu comes out ahead and grabs it. Ends pick up 16, and they win the series 2-0.